Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around the 8th. Yeah, right around the 8th, but we all know the timing is fluid, right? And not every reading is for you, so just take what resonates and leave the rest. So, what do we have for a message today? Mm -hmm. Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups. So Eight of Cups is, well, we know the Eight of Cups is saying goodbye to something, right? And headed towards wish fulfillment, headed towards abundance. This is, uh, well, it says abandoned success on the card. It's like, yeah, it may have been good for a minute, but it's not good anymore. It's time to go. This is a necessary but painful goodbye or alteration or something like that okay it's a departure all right i can't i'm not it's not what i want you know um and you know the next step is nine of cups so we we do have somebody that is choosing they've already made their decision and now they're doing it they're they're taking the steps you know this is going towards happiness so, going towards success. Somebody may have realized their dreams and it's not in some s illusionary situation, you know? Um, so, walking away. Death! I guess so. Okay, so death is definitely walking away. That is the end. Okay, right next to the Eight of Cups, it is definitely the end of something. Death is a profound life change. It is destruction. It is renewal. It's a transition. Okay, this is a separation or a loss that leads to a new beginning. Right, so this is the end of something. This is definitely goodbye. Okay, it definitely, definitely, definitely is. So somebody is saying goodbye, it is the end, and they are headed towards a new beginning because endings always come with new beginnings. So we have an ending with a new beginning to follow. Three of Pentacles. So this is hard work. So this has something to do with work. Working together, teamwork, togetherness. Something about respect, gaining respect, learning new skills. Somebody's going to be learning new skills. They're probably going to be working with some new people. Seven of Pentacles reversed. No longer investing, heading towards a new place. Somebody is definitely relocating. They're relocating, they're going to start over someplace else. This is a dead end. It's definitely a dead end. It is a dead end. They're going to be starting over and doing something. They're going to be working with somebody else. I feel like this person that has walked, walked away or is walking away has tried. They've tried. They've already, they've, they've tried to work together with somebody already. And now it's definitely time to go. I keep on saying definitely. So this is maybe indefinitely because I want to keep saying definitely. It never ends, right? But the, the, the shields are coming tomorrow, I think. They're supposed to be. Anyhow, six of pe or seven of pentacles reversed. This is uh, dissatisfied, very dissatisfied. No growth. It's over. It's done. Something is completely over. And they have tried. They have tried very, very hard to make something work. It's just not. There's just no growth. There's no growth. There's, there's no life to live. It's, this isn't it. 
you know, and isn't it? There's a lack of appreciation and they're going to be working with somebody that will appreciate them. Where they can work together as a team. This is the card of teamwork. Strength. Strength, courage, confidence, willpower. This is brave. We have a brave individual who is definitely, 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 that is the word of the day, okay, that is trying or is going to find their strength and their courage to stop investing in something that is a dead end. It is a dead end. There's, 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 no, there's no reason to invest. There's no reason to invest in this, okay, there isn't. Um, the, the strength card is a card of um, mastering emotions. You know, it could be a graceful exit. You know, somebody's acting in grace. They, you know, they're acting in good character. They got to do what they got to do. This does have to do with teamwork and, and respect. It does have to do with respect. Now, the strength card is a card of courage to let go. To let go of something. So somebody is, def is finding the courage to let go. Seven of Cups. The choice is made. Seven of Cups reversed. This is becoming clear of the decision. Making the decision. There's no prosperity here. So something just hasn't grown the way it was supposed to. It's definitely time to go, okay? It's time to go where there will be growth, where there will be respect. It's going to be a lot of hard work, though. It is going to be a lot of hard work. I do also feel like we have a team that is getting together that is going to be working together. I think this is a new team because endings lead to new beginnings. I think we have a new uh, partnership that is coming, okay? There's going to be a, or a new uh, collaboration, Okay, this, this is like a new team getting together. New friends, new, new job, new partnership, something like that. Endings lead to new beginnings. We definitely have a uh, profound life change. This is a transition. Okay. Becoming clear of the choice. Coming out of confusion. It's interesting because I set it up here. You know, they're leaving behind an illusion. Leaving behind something that they made a poor choice. Somebody made a poor choice. They invested in something based on false impressions. You know, it may have looked good at the beginning or, you know, something like that. But now it's like, no, I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think this is going to bring me prosperity. And there hasn't been any long-term success. It may have grown for a minute, but it's not growing anymore. I feel like there's going to be a release. I mean, the death card is a release. And it takes courage and strength and confidence and willpower to let go of something. To let go of control. Starting from scratch. Starting over. Somebody is releasing something that they were holding on to, that they were investing in. They're leaving it all behind. They're starting a new chapter, stepping into an unknown territory, releasing fear. This is de definitely, I can't stop myself from saying it for some reason, releasing fear. This is a definite decision. Okay, the decision is made because I've wanted to say it so many times. Definitely, 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 definitely. I definitely don't want to be in this. The decision is made. So this is uh, a new phase that is beginning. This is somebody that is taking a risk. They are facing their fears. They are acting right now. This is stepping forward in blind faith. It could be a spur of the moment decision. This is uh, stepping into unknown territory. Leaving it all behind, leaving behind the fantasy, leaving behind the illusion, leaving behind the previous investment. See ya! This is definitely see ya.
This is a courageous, brave individual here that is facing their fears and saying goodbye because they want to work with somebody that is going to respect them. And they want to work with somebody that is going to work as a team. And the only way they're going to get that is to say goodbye. Ah, Ten of Cups reversed. Now this, that's a broken relationship. It's a drop, dying dream, right? It is. It could be children leaving home. I mean, the Ten of Cups reversed is a lack of wish fulfillment. It's relationship problems. It is relationship problems. Somebody has been holding on to something with that strength card right next to it, a relationship where there is not emotional fulfillment. And they may have been holding on to it because of their ego, because the strength card is a card of ego. So somebody was holding on to something because of their ego, because of their pride. But now that that fool card, that's like, uh, -uh I'm going to be free. I'm free. I'm free. That's freedom. Starting from scratch, starting over, leaving it behind, taking the experience with me and starting over. So this is starting, starting from scratch. Somebody is finding their courage and their strength to start from scratch and release the fear. And the fear may be of, you know, being alone. Or, you know, uh, things not growing in the future. Of making another poor decision. So that may be the fear. But anyway, fe or fear, fear of growing alone. That's what I feel like it is. But we have somebody here that is replacing that fear with faith and they are taking the high road. And they are headed towards wish fulfillment because that's what happens after the Eight of Cups is the Nine of Cups. You say goodbye to the emotionally disappointing situation and you head towards the Nine of Cups because you found the strength and the courage and the confidence to face your fears. They bring you a reward, a new life. Endings lead to new beginnings. Somebody has a new beginning here after they have been in an emotionally disappointing situation and they found the courage to step into unknown territory. Here it is. Two of Wands. Spur of the moment decision, both these cards. Somebody is making a, a spur of the moment decision. It's going to happen suddenly. This is choosing to focus on the future. It's choosing to leave the past behind. Somebody is choosing to leave it all behind. It's just, I'm going to take this, my experiences. You can have it all. I don't want to be a part of it. See ya. This is, this is a sudden, it's a, it's a sudden decision. It's a sudden choice. This has to do with a partnership. There, there could be some planning involved. Somebody may have been planning it. The time is now. There's options. And I feel like, I feel like somebody has already observed their options. They've been thinking about their options. They've had many options. Now their choice is made. They've made their decision. They've made their choice. I feel like they've ignored an option as well in the past because a minute ago I had the four of cups in reverse on the bottom of the deck and I didn't say it's gone now because I shuffled, but I saw it. So there was a, that, that's, that's ignoring an opportunity. Focusing on, you know, the Three of Cups in reverse, which is, you know, a third party situation or a emotionally unfilling, unfulfilling partnership where there's been a lack of emotional growth. Somebody was focusing on that, ignoring an opportunity for love. Now they're interested. And this card tells me that there's a passionate opportunity. Somebody has it right in the palm of their hand. It's like they see it, they have it. There's an opportunity for growth. The only way to get it is to make that decision 
to focus on the future and leave something behind. So somebody is, they are making a sudden decision to just leave it all behind and step into unknown territory. And when they do, that old life ends and that new life begins just like that. There's travel here as well. So somebody's traveling. They may be traveling to a new destination. They could be def definitely relocating. This is a, I see a relocation here for sure. The decision is made. It's clear. It's clear that it's time to go. And this is exciting. Whoever this person is that is making the decision is excited about it. This is exciting. It is. This is deciding to go, deciding, I'm deciding to go, I'm going, I'm going, going towards wish fulfillment because this is not wish fulfillment. Eight of cups to nine of cups is wish fulfillment. When they've been in a relationship, whether it's a partnership or whatever it is, could be whatever it is to you, somebody has been in a relationship that is not emotionally fulfilling and they are finding their strength and their courage to break free. This is breaking free and start over from scratch. You can keep it all. I'm out. I'm not doing this. Goodbye. This is a spur of the moment decision to leave it all behind. All done. On the bottom of the deck now, the hangman. Somebody has been thinking, and they have been thinking a lot. Thinking about everything that has happened. Thinking about their future. Thinking about their past. And I feel like they've gained a new perspective on life. And they've went through a period of growth. And they're ready to let go. We have somebody here that has been sacrificing themselves trying to prove something that's what this is it's a martyr but I feel like they've become enlightened and now they see things from a new perspective so I guess what I should say is get prepared for a profound change because we have somebody here that is releasing their fear and they are letting go of something that they have been sacrificing themselves for. Because they want a better life. So there's going to be some movement. Starts with goodbye. Good luck.